<clears throat> demonology. So one of the coolest things I saw with demonology is a video back from early 8-1. So this might not work, but it has to be with the um, demonic consumption. My tyrant is going to do most of my damage. And if I can get the wombo combo off at the start, then I'll be really happy. If not, I'm going to be really unhappy. So if you guys are expecting for me to do anything amazing this BG, I'm probably not going to do anything, but my pets will. You see this little bitty imps running after me? I guess it's not as bad as it looks. This could be worse. Hold on. I'm going to pets. Okay, we need more demons though. More imps. Demonic tyrant beefed up. This guy's gonna get shreked, shredded completely. We're gonna spell reflect whatever damage we got. Not really sure what's going on. Honestly, you guys are probably confused just like me about what the hell is going on this battleground. Yeah, I'm just as I'm just as confused as you guys are. Also, why is this hunter in melee range with me? Can you not? I really feel uncomfortable with you being this close. Are we doing damage? Why do these guys have so many hunters? Who knows really? Who the hell knows? Let's just keep building my army. This is like a strategy game. Like the good old strategy games where you gotta build your army. This is literally a war front. <laughs> and I am just a commander in the war front. And I got orcs running around. Greetings, commander. <laughs> Wait, we're not actually done yet. We're not dead yet. Hold on. Tyrant coming in in about 20 seconds. We can do some cool things. We have an army of imps. A uh, literal metric fuck ton of imps. Alright, so we should have a lot of imps. Uh, maybe my commander will go on this boomkin. That'll be great. That'll be awesome. How much damage is it doing? It's hopefully doing a lot. Because I'm sacrificing my imps so he does a lot more damage. I feel like this got nerfed. I feel like the demon commander might have gotten nerfed years ago. This is still fun though. And I wish I could tell you exactly what the fuck just happened. But it was just a clusterfuck on my screen, as much as it was on yours. Although, a handy tip, if you're playing Demonology, you can still hit uh, mages with Demon Bolt, even though they're eyes blocking. So that's a very handy tip. Yeah, so this doesn't seem like... Are we winning? We are winning! We are dominating completely. We're taking all the bases as Alliance is scrambling together to even put a group. Okay, you guys ready? Big commander damage. If, uh, the, any, if the allies are even gonna let me. I'm gonna delay. Wait, delaying. Now big commander's coming out. Now I can get some big damage. Commander's buffing up my other pets, so hopefully they will do some work. Please, big pet. Do damage. Commander. How hard is it hitting for, actually? It's hitting for 15k. My commander is hitting for more than any of my other normal spells are. So yes, commander is doing majority of my damage, which is funny. Wait, hold on, they're stacked up. Oh, wait, only one of them got stunned. That monk, though, actually got a uh, multi-stun. That must feel great. That must feel awesome. I wish I could land a multi-stun. But I'm pretty bad at the game, though. This is just an absolute stomp, and so far, I haven't been able to do anything amazing. I should just leave. I should just bail and never come back. Yes, I can. I can literally command you. That is literally part of my playstyle. Do you not know what this spec is all about? I'm literally commanding you. I command you to kill this warlock before he kills me. I command you to attack this mage. I command you to stun this mage. I command these demons to- I command this imp to just go flying in! <laughs> I literally am commanding! Actually no, it's the demonic tyrant that's commanding you guys. The demon commander himself. Oh wait, can I get the big burst now? Wait, can I get the big burst? And then we're gonna fear him out. Beefing up my pets. Oh baby, look at that damage. Look at that damage. Look at that commander damage! Look at that com big commander damage! This guy actually had to pop a cooldown for me. I feel so good. I feel like I'm actually good at the game now. I'm gonna get even more imps out. More imps, more! There's gonna be a line of imps! A line of imps! A metric fuck ton of imps! Oh, he's stunning the imps! He figured out my strats! Boys, he figured me out! Okay, so we're gonna reflect a lot of this damage after? Pop to reflect? Yes, please. Earth shock yourself, flame shock yourself, do something to yourself. Oh my goodness. I'm out. I'm running. 
We got a big chungus here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Am I bad? Am I in a bad spot right now? I feel like I am. Oh uh, yeah, I don't have any way to deal with any of this right now. This is really bad. I can I stun him in place? Uh, kind of. Can I please? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so how much damage did that allow me to do? A lot of it is Fellbolt. You can see Demon Fire from a Demonic Tyrant. You can see how bad, how hard this boy hits. I'm in it for single digit like Ks, like 5K, 7K. This boy is hitting for double digits in terms of the Ks. So he's actually doing pretty good. And then there's the Fellstorm by the other demon. So this combo works. I just feel like it got nerfed ever since the the original combo came out. Uh, noobs are fighting on the road. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm really easy to be pointed out. Gotcha, bitch! I earned that kill. Come on. I earned that one. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna look like fucking Sauron sitting on top of the, the tower with the eyeball. Just raining down parade upon my foes. If Wait, can I? Wait, hold on. Can somebody come here to die? Because I got all these imps like preloaded. No? Okay, I literally got a good setup with my demons. I have so many imps to sacrifice. But look at this. If I sacrifice my demons, look how good this guy is. He has 230% more damage. This is why you want to try running demonic consumption. That seems like a really cool talent. But now I kind of wasted it and this guy is just not doing anything. But looks like we will still win this BG regardless. Maybe? All right, we're gonna get serious here. We're gonna try to get a lot of damage. We're gonna get a lot of focus onto maybe a healer. Can we just like rain down these imps on a healer though? While CCing everybody else? Like actually playing this game? Let's re-CC him real quick. Wait, where's my demon at? Oh, he's over, way over there. No, turn around. Yeah, run in there. Run in the middle of them all. Blade Storm! Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Dalaran Gaming, where we play some Demonology Warlock. We actually didn't do all that bad, I guess. But the Tyrant does a lot of damage. So let me show you guys the setup for the Tyrant. Just so you guys know exactly how that ends up being played. The Tyrant and the Burst. How how do you how does that work? It sometimes sucks because sometimes you'll have imps and those imps will fade right before you use power siphon. So you kind of just got to watch out like, hey, how many imps do I have? Two? Okay, let's use this ability now. So you want to preload yourself. The, uh, the cast for Demon Bolt Insta is going to be there for a bit. So that's pretty cool. All right, so I have two imps. I'm going to wait for one to disappear. So then the another one spawns. You see, one disappeared. That sometimes happens. Two of them there. I got two charges. I'm gonna dread, call Dreadstalkers into Soul Strike, into a Demon Bolt, into Hand of Gold Down, into Demon Bolt again. Hand of Gold Down, and then I get my Demon spinning with Demonic Strength to give me a second for all the imps to spawn. And then I'll summon the Big Tyrant, and then he'll do a lot of damage. He's in this Train Dummy for a lot more than he had other players. Probably because Train Dummies take more damage than PvPers. But you can see this guy's doing a lot of the damage. So when you summon him and then you have all these soul shards, you can just start summoning more demons and more demons and more demons. So it's a really quick setup burst combo and it's really, really good. And with some other traits like uh, Supreme Commander, you get intellect afterwards. So you can continue doing what your demon was doing in damage. And now you have a million different imps and all of them are doing damage. And then it kind of just snowballs very, very hard. And if you can sacrifice demons so you can get yourself soul shards for uh, instacast procs. So it's a really cool playstyle. I actually very much like this. It has a lot of synergy and it, it's very smooth. The playstyle of this is very, very smooth compared to like how demonology was in previous times. This spec went through a lot of changes and I think it took a bit for Blizzard to realize like what they wanted to do with it. But this is the smoothest I've ever felt and I, I personally like it the most. I would say the second best spec for me would be Destruction right now because it's just so much fun. Chaos Bolts are a blast, but this one is uh, also a lot of fun because I love the pet playstyle. I don't know what about it just draws me to it. I just like it a lot.
Now, I know I'll get a lot of questions on this, which is why I'm going to put it at the end of the video. I do appreciate anybody for watching the full video, but I also don't blame anybody for skipping through. I know how it is on uh, YouTube. Just don't want to waste your time. So the, the, toy that, the, the toy that I use for a lot of my videos is Coin of Many Faces. This allows me to change myself to anything else. There's like a bunch of preset models in World of Warcraft. One of them is this Blood Elf one. There's like the Torn Paladin. And there's a lot of unique ones. Um, how do you get this toy? I'm pretty sure this thing is a world drop. So if you navigate over to your nearest auction house, look up Coin of Many Faces, you can actually buy it off of the AH. So a lot of you guys that are wondering how you can change your appearance, you can use the coin. This could be used while you're leveling. I think it does have like a cap for like, you need to be like level 20 to start using this ability or something, I think. So yeah, coin of many faces is the toy that I use to change my appearance. You guys should be able to buy it in the auction house. It'll depend on the value on your server, but I get this question a lot and I felt like I should get answered in this video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video or even if you just watched the last part. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I'll see all of you in another one.